and this one sentence is going to be with all my sisters throughout their life that one sentence is lap lap you we all are aware of the lap lap is where we nurture the generations to come lap is where we have the foundation of the world of the universe lap is where we play the role of a creator lap is where the destiny is formulated so lap is very important and i have given the sentence that lap to be happy and passionate so this lap is not a burden for us this lap is not to make us weak this lap is to empower us how so now let's just go into depth l is for love yourself this is the first and foremost thing you know i love everything of mine i love my name starting from the name i love my name i love my gender i love my country i love my village i love my parents i love my friends i love my ability i love my capabilities i love my face i love my body i love everything that belongs to me that is first step and the second step is that i am aware of my potentials there are certain weaknesses i in me i am aware of that but i am not going to focus on my weakness why should i there are many strength in me let me work upon that let me give my strength to the world to make it a better place why all the time i am worried about my weaknesses no not at all weaknesses are to work upon in private strength are to highlight strength are to give the strength to others and my dear uh, sisters yesterday i was conducting a class of college students and there were around i think uh, 40 to 50 students in my class and when i asked that whether women should work outside or not their answer was yes they should work but then my next question was if their family if their parents if their brothers if their sons and husbands and fathers don't allow them then what they should do the blank answer was that they should stop it now we have to change this mindset earning is not to make money working is not to make money working is to pay our debt we when we come to this world we all are being benefited by the inventions discoveries done by others and equally men and women both are being benefited by this then why only men are into invention why only men are into discoveries why only men are into education why only men are into science women have also to be the equal contributors because we are the equal consumers so when we are consuming the things when we are uh, uh, utilizing the things we have to contribute to the society that is the that is a plain formula of being a working woman i am not asking every woman to go on the roads i am asking to contribute if you are not if your home condition is not allowing you to move out you work from home but you contribute you contribute where you are going to be a beneficial member of the society so this is my lap and then to be a creator i have seen nowadays a new trend is coming up into our young girls and boys they don't want to be into the system of marriage they don't want to be into the uh, into the bonding of marriage because one reason what they i have come to know that they don't want to give birth to the children they just want to enjoy the life so my dear sister today at this platform i must encourage all each and every woman that when we become a mother we become a creator we are just equal to our creator creator has created the universe and we are creating the new generation we are sustaining the new generation so please feel proud of being a mom feel proud of being a mother feel proud of giving birth to any child and the pleasure of becoming a mother cannot be equal to any other pleasure in life being the mother of two sons i can claim this maybe some of you may not agree with my point view point but i am formally a believer of this the a mother a woman should be proud of her womanhood and then we have to be happy in challenging the situations there will be good situations bad situations worse situations 
happy situations, but we have to be uh, happy all the time. And then we should have a passion for money. If we don't have passion for money, then naturally we are going to be satisfied sitting at home and relaxing. And hardly we will be worried about uh, doing something constructive and contributing in the society. So let's have passion for money, but, but a word of precaution is calculative passion for money. It should not be mad passion for money. It's not that if I am talking to someone, I'm talking just for the sake of money. If I'm advising someone just for the sake of money, we should have one passion where we are doing for the sake of our happiness and pleasure and to helping the others. Vimala ma'am will be agreeing to uh, this point of mine because she is into the helping of people and women and all others. So let's have passion for money, but let's have passion for helping others. Our passion for money should be calculative. It should not be the mad passion for money. With this world, I congratulate each and every winner of today's Women of Substance title. And now I request uh, Dr. Ram that let's begin our award ceremony so that we can honor our honorable female today on this platform. <laughs> 